This is the Citizen Link Report. If you find our insights helpful, would you support our video efforts? Your gift of $25 or more goes a long ways. It covers the crew, lights, cameras, all that. Just click on Donate. Thanks from all of us. Thousands of teens in public schools spoke up for God's design for relationships last week. But some people on the other side of the issue used it as an opportunity to call them names and mock them on Facebook. This is the Citizen Link Report. Hi everyone, I'm Kim Troby. Welcome to the Citizen Link Report this week. I'm joined by Candy Cushman, our education analyst at Citizen Link. Hey Candy. Hi Kim. So last week, Day of Dialogue happened. Lots of kids participated. Tell me a little bit about uh, what went on. Yeah, you know, Kim, it was really exciting because we had an estimated 7,000 to 8,000 students nationwide in at least 46 states. And that's really huge because it's a 40% increase over last year and in six more states than last year. So it's really neat to see how this is catching on among students. Now, some people watching may not understand what the Day of Dialogue is. So can you give us a little bit of info about what kids do on this day? Well, sure. At its core, a Day of Dialogue is a free speech religious freedom event for students in public schools all across the nation. And the whole idea behind it is that when sensitive topics are being brought up in these students' schools, like homosexuality, gender identity, same-sex marriage debates, and it's often being brought up in a one-sided way, that this event helps carve out a safe space for the students to bring a Christ-centered uh, Christ biblical perspective to the table in a loving, respectful way. Now, one of the things that you do on the Day of Dialogue that I love is the conversation cards. Talk a little bit about how you help kids get into these conversations. Well, basically, we have several free speech tools, and one of the most important of those is the conversation card, and it really uh, just helps them, as I was saying, bring a Christ-centered perspective to these hot button issues in their school. For example, bullying, it allows them to bring up the idea, what if there's a God and He cares about every single student in the school, and to proclaim that I'm a Christian, I believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins, He gave our, our life, His life for us. And that because of that, I'm going to pledge to stand up for all the students, for people that are vulnerable uh, in my school. And so it just allows them to speak into these issues that they're facing there. Such a great opportunity because it's put together by students for students. And we understand not everybody believes the same way that we do. But uh, from what I hear, things got a little bit nasty on Facebook this year. Talk a little bit about what happened there. That's right. Well, we experienced this huge online attack. It started in the morning, the day of the event, and went on for several hours. And really, it was just um, a slew of uh, mean, mocking, derogatory comments. But where it really crossed the line is several of the comments targeted students, and really, I feel, just went into outright bullying. Mm, one of those students was a 16-year-old girl. She's a Pennsylvania high school student. At our high school, we plan on sharing the gospel through our Christian club by reaching out to those who may not, we may not otherwise talk to. We want to be challenged to show God's love to as many people as possible during the day of dialogue. So that was the 16-year-old's comment. Right. Tell me a little bit about the response that she got. Well, right. Um, this is a, an apparently an adult activist um, that was part of this ongoing attack. And he writes underneath her comment in a very mocking way, yes, stand up for Jesus because your fellow students deserve to know who the idiots in their midst really are. I bet you're staying home alone on prime night. And then he has the student's name. Mm. So it's just really a cruel comment. Ow. And you know, that that's definitely, I think, the kind of things that we think about when we think about bullying. And that's exactly what Day of Dialogue is about, ironically, is to help kids so that they can talk about difficult issues without these kind of responses. Right. Well, it was just amazing um, the blindness that the attackers seem to have to their own actions because here you have adult activists targeting a Christian page for teens and then targeting teens on that page all in the name they're claiming that they're speaking for anti-bullying. So it's just kind of the inconsistency was mind-blowing. Um, but the good news is, is that it didn't work. The intimidation tactic didn't work and the students continued on um, and we feel like we were able to equip those students to have a redemptive impact. That's great what you're helping these kids to understand. Um, I also noticed from some of the comments that it wasn't always directed at students. There was just a general feeling against Christian worldview in general, right? Um, one of them, you had put a, a blog post from one of the students on there, and the comments were from, from that were, were pretty uh, vitriolic. They were right. pretty bad. And really, it's just this whole idea that if you dare to share the gospel 
or uh, say that you have a biblical viewpoint of sexuality, that all of a sudden you're, you're a bigot. You know, just name calling again, ironically. Um, just saying, you know, poor babies, how about you just appreciate the young people who are speaking out against your supremacy issues? So, again, this whole idea that having a biblical viewpoint is somehow, you know, oppressing other people, but, you know, that's a really effective way to try to censor people. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because you have mentioned to me before that a lot of times these are just scare tactics to get a, a point of view to stop being put forward on Facebook. Talk a little bit about that and what, what you did to help the kids understand that. Right. Well, I think at its heart, it really was an attempt to try to drown out the voices of these students and to intimidate them from participating and their supporters. Um, but it, it didn't work, as I said. And what we did um, on the day that these attacks were happening is we posted the very top of the page and we just we posted a comment that recognized that throughout history, Christians have defended their free speech right to share the gospel and share biblical truth and that that wasn't going to end on this day or any other day after it. Yeah, one of the reasons that we call it the day of dialogue is because we want open conversations on these issues between people. That's right, Kim. Rather than emphasizing silence, we want the students to have a free exchange of uh, ideas. I mean, isn't that the best thing for academic learning? And I think it's important at this point to point out that one of the guiding principles of day of dialogue is just this whole idea that name calling or harassment against any person for any reason is always wrong. And that's because one of our core beliefs is that uh, every human being is created by God and has innate dignity and worth, and therefore they are worthy, regardless of how they identify sexually or otherwise, they are worthy of protection from harm and being treated with respect. And that's why, uh, you know, with, when it comes to our audience and our participants in this initiative, we would never encourage, in fact, we would reproach any efforts to launch an attack of the kind that we experience on this page. You know, when you think about other homosexual themed student pages that were out there, they should have their forum. And uh, because our foremost goal is to challenge the students in our initiative to always reflect the model of Christ and the spirit of Christ with everything they do. Candy, it is always great to have you here on the set. We love to hear of the successes and the great things that you're doing. Keep up the good work. And congratulations to all the students who participated in the Day of Dialogue this year for making it such a smashing success. Thanks to all of you who have written to share your thoughts and encouragement. You can always email us. That's at mail at citizenlink.com. We love to hear what you have to say. And we encourage you to pray for our elected officials and for our nation. And as always, remember, stand tall and be heard.